Uweze weka buru that is castrated na uweka kwa ngombe ambayo unataka mazao kesho. Unahakikishia kwamba ile dume huko ni dume ambayo inaweza fanya kazi. Na sisi tunajua kwamba tuna governor ambaye anaweza kazi. Wewe wewe ambao unapiga kelele hapa tunakuambia ya kwamba wewe goja 2027 kama uliaguka goja kama Mungu atakubariki utafanya lakini utusistubue The courts uh, very recently made a ruling uh, concerning what is happening to this uh, assembly of Nakuru Now uh, we are gathered here as a county assembly of Nakuru and uh, we want to let you know that as an assembly, we are actually a law-abiding assembly. It's good to start there, that we, as an assembly, we abide with the law and we respect what the courts actually uh, made as a ruling. Uh, we, with our governor of uh, Nakuru County, we stand behind us solidly in the decisions that uh, they made. Because we know the courts have made their rulings, but we, as an assembly, we stand very much united knowing that um, when it comes to issues of appointments, uh, the governor is given full authority to appoint and uh, uh, make time for the people whom she wants to work with, depending on capabilities and abilities of the people who are brought and the competencies. So when we sat here as an assembly, we are solely behind uh, her decisions of, uh, of uh, the appointments that she made and uh, we will go back and try to follow what the courts have said, but uh, just know that uh, as an assembly we are united. Otherwise, uh, there are many things that have been going on around, and there are a team of people who have been really discussing on the issues of the nominations of the county assembly of Nakuru. We would also want to urge those people that they are actually delaying us in terms of service delivery as a Nakuru. The ordinary Mwanenchi in the ground is waiting for us to go and deliver these services. And we cannot do it when they are holding our hands, they are holding us hostages. I know the main bone of contention is issues of trying to balance. There is no way we can balance Nakuru in terms of the 43 tribes. It is not possible. The, pos the positions that we got were only 10 positions. How do we balance the 10 positions into the 43 tribes that are there? So I think the ground spoke and we know exactly what happened. The sub-counties that we have, the 11 sub-counties and these ones we have always insisted. Uh, when they went for the elections, they gave us the kind of people that they want in terms of those tribes that these people are trying to perpetrate. And the formula that our governor in our own wisdom has used was the same formula, that uh, we are going to every, every, every constituency, depending on the member of parliament that they gave, that is the position that they gave in the CECs. So we will not really want uh, to appear that Nakuru is a guinea pig that we are going to test in the other, country, in the other parts of the country. He is not the only city. Kisumu is also a city, Mombasa is also a city, and when you look at the, uh, the complaints that were there, nobody actually complained on the appointments as far as uh, the tribal fact was concerned. People gave according to uh, the regional balances in those particular areas. So I'm just, we just wonder as an assembly, why Nakuru? Why Nakuru must always uh, produce the 42 tribes? Why not Kisumu? Because in Kisumu we never had other tribes who were appointed. Why not uh, in Mombasa? Because those are cities. Why were they not also given an opportunity like this? So we will also urge uh, uh, people who are looking at these cases critically and the ordinary one inches that uh, they consider and give uh, uh, Madam Governor an opportunity to put his government together so that Nakuru can be able to move, so that we also as MCAs can be given an opportunity to go and deliver services to the one inches. Jina langu ni Wanjohi Philip, minority leader katika county assembly ya Nakuru. Tumekutana hapa kama wajumbe wa county kwa sababu tunataka kusema ya kwamba tunamunga governor wetu mkono. Tulipo chaguliwa kama wajumbe wa county pamoja na governor kuna majukumu ambao tuliruzo na watu wetu tuweze kufanya. Wakasema wanataka barabara, wanataka maji, wanataka basari, wanataka soko na kila kitu ambacho waliweza kuitisha. Lakini tunashangaa kuona ya kwamba kazi ambao tuliombio tufanya iwezi kufanyika kwa sasa. Kwa sababu huyo kazi utekerezo na watu ambao naitua CEO na, C, na CECs. Lakini sasa hakuna. Kwa hivyo ndakuta ya kwamba tunakazi ngumu sana katika wadi zetu na pia katika county kwa sababu zile kazi yawezi kufanyika. Sisi tunasema ya kwamba wale CEC ambao watachaguriwa na governor tunataka professionals. Tunataka watu ambao na integrity yao ndio tunataka. Tutaki mambo ya ukabira. Awe ni kabila gani ama kabila hidi. Bora ni mtu ambaye anaweza tekeleza kazi hiyo ndio mtu ambaye tunataka katika county yetu wa Nakuru ndio tuweze kuendelea. Kwa hivyo tunauliza wale ambao wanasumbua governor 
waachane na yeye sisi kama wajumbe sisi tuko nyuma ya governor ndio kazi iweze kufanyika ili ambao tuliomba kuambia wanjiko kama county kama county government ya Nakuru kwa hivyo sisi kama assembly na governor tunafanya kazi kwa pamoja na kwanza ni kushukuru ya MCS kwa sababu ya kuja pamoja number one, sasa wakati elections zilifanyika mwezi wa nane, kila mtu alienda kwa uchaguzi rais akaenda kwa uchaguzi akachaguliwa na manifesto yake akachagua mawaziri na akachagua ma PS na mumeona wote wako kazini governor naye akaenda kwa uchaguzi na amechaguliwa hapa na kuru tulichagua Susan Kiheka na alichaguliwa na mbuge naye akaenda kwa kwa constituency yake akafanya akauza sera zake akachaguliwa wabuge wamechagua kamati yao ya CDF na hakuna mtu amewapeleka kotini kila mtu alichagua yule mtu anataka lakini sasa tunaona ya kwamba kuna watu ambao they are hell bent to make sure that the governor hafanyi kazi na wakati governor hafanyi kazi hata MCS hawa kazi imefanya nini imekwama kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba wacha kila mtu afanye ile kazi alichaguliwa wewe kama ulichagua mbuge deal with your CDF governor naye wacha deal na CC wake na 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 na, na CEO wake kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba wacha tupatiane heshima hata kama mambo yote wacha tupatiane nini heshima namba 2 yule raia wa kawaida ambayo yuko yuko kijijini hajui ya kwamba kuna code brokers ambao wako nakuru wanazuia wana, wana maendeleo kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba wacha kila mtu apewe nafasi afanye kazi namba tu, kazi ya assembly ni, ku, ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba kuna sheria imefuatwa inahakikisha ya kwamba eh, oversight imefanywa how do you do oversight when the governor is not performing the three rows of the mcs are co-joined in the hip na kazi ile governor anafanya. Kwa hivyo si tunauliza ya kwamba wale ambao wamezoea makesi wa, waache. Namba namba 3. Tunasema ya kwamba governor wakati governor anafanya kazi. Wewe uwezi goja governor azuguke afanye campaign, alafu wewe uende kotini uzembe uwekwe. Kwani wewe kwa nini wewe ukusimama? Kwani wewe uko na pesa? Siungesimama. Kuna watu wanasema ati wamekuja sasa na formula, ati governor formula imetupa. Wewe kama ungekuwa na hiyo formula, siungesimama and then utekeleza formula yako kwa hivyo kila tunasema ni hivi wacha county assembly iache kuwa head hostage na cartels hiyo tu ndio tunasema na sisi kama assembly tuko nyuma ya governor ili governor aweze kufanya kazi yake na tunauliza watu wa nakuru sisi ni wapenda amani hakuna mtu ameandikwa kabila hapa barabara yako iharibiki kwa sababu ya kabila hospitali yako haina dawa kwa sababu ya kabila na deposa tunasema ya kwamba sisi hatutaki kuangalia makabila tunataka kuangalia yule mtu anaweza perform uweze weka bull that is castrated na uweka kwa ngombe ambayo unataka mazao kesho unahakikisha ya kwamba ile dume huko ni dume ambayo inaweza fanya kazi na sisi tunajua ya kwamba tuna governor ambaye anaweza kaza kazi wewe wewe ambao unapiga kelele hapa tunakuambia ya kwamba wewe goja 2027 kama uliaguka goja kama mungu atakubariki utafanya lakini utusisubue kwa hivyo tunasema ya kwamba koti nazo wagalieni makesi ambayo inaletwa kwa koti si kila kesi ambayo inakatwa vile mtu ana, anataka tunasema ya kwamba kanisa of the court ziheshimu uamuzi wa nini wa wananchi na hiyo ndio tunasema court yeshimu wa wananchi governor dia alieda akauza aka sera zake kwa hivyo sisi kama assembly tunasema ya kwamba sisi tumeugana sisi hatujui kabila tunajua maendeleo na tunasema ya kwamba wale wanaenda siku zenu ziko ziko karibu ziko karibu ninasikia kuna wengine hata watu wa social media sijui akina nani akina nani wewe ongea vile unaongea lakini ujue ya kwamba county ina yenyewe wewe kama ukataka kuja uchaguliwe MCA wakati huo mwingine tuona utafanya nini wakati wa siasa umeisha tafadhali saini wakati wa kufanyia wananchi wa kawaida kazi miezi tatu imeisha na kazi haiendelei ambao wanaumia ni wenye walituchagua mama anatembea kilomita tano kutafuta maji ya kunywa barabara ni mbovu ma hospitali iko chini kwa hivyo wakati tunashinda tu makoti tafadhali wananchi wetu ndio wanaumia mimi pangu ningeomba hata wenye wako na hii makesi wauzo na Mungu jua hata wanaweza raaniwa kwa sababu si vema mimi ni mukisi nimechaguliwa subukia ambayo wakikuyu ndio wengi kwa hivyo watu hawana haja na makabila wako na haja na watu wa kufanya kazi kwa hivyo ni vizuri tuwe na umoja na sisi kama assembly tuko na umoja hatutaki kujua kabila la mtu ni gani ili watu wetu waweza kusaidika na tuko na nyuma tuko nyuma ya governor wetu tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja kwa sababu moja ni nguvu utengano ni udhaifu asantini sana sisi tuko hapa kama wajumbe wa kaunti ya Nakuru 
Nazis water, the 75 MCAs, we are fully behind our, our Honorable Madam Susan Gihiga as our governor. Tuko tayari kufanya na yeye. Tuajua ya kwamba kesi hiko kotini na tunaishimu koti. Lakini tunaomba tu watumalisi ya hili tupeleke uduma kule nyumbani. People are waiting for us. Wanataka uduma kama pasaris. Wanataka mahospitali jengwe. Wanataka sogo isi jengwe. Mabarabara na maji. So we are appealing ya kwamba tufanyiwa haraka hili sisi tuwafanyia kazi wanjiko vile tuliahidi it is all, it is almost 4 months tangu tulipo maliza uchaguzi wanjiko wanatungojea nyumbani tupeleke yale tuliwaahidi wakati wa campaign otherwise kwa hayo mengi tunataka kusema asanteni asante na tuko nyuma ya governor wetu asante na viongozi wengine i'm sorry viongozi wengine ambao walichakuliwa tuko tayari kufanya kazi nao asanteni na Mungu awabariki thank you na katika kaunti ya assembly ya nakuru tuko wale ambao wamechaguliwa na Safina tuko wale ambao wamechaguliwa na ODM tuko na independent candidates na tuko wale ambao wamechaguliwa na UDA na sisi wote katika kaunti ya assembly hatuna utata na majina ambayo eh, governor alikuwa amenominate wawe mawaziri wetu lakini wapo koti imekuja na uamuzi sisi kwanza tunaheshimu uamuzi ya mahakama lakini pili kama kaunti ya assembly na wajumbe wote uh, MCS wote tunasema kwamba tuko nyuma ya governor tumekubaliana tutafanya na governor kazi na tunaomba wale ambao wako na kesi kotini jamani hata kai ile nyingine ambayo bado iko ya, ya CEOs waturuhusu jamani tufanye wananchi kazi wananchi wanateseka walituchagua wanalia na ambao services zote zimeshikwa kwa sababu ya kesi ambayo iko mahakama kwa hivyo tunasema kama county assembly ya nakuru MCS wote tuko nyuma ya governor tutafanya naye kazi na hatuna shida yoyote na governor wetu e, kwa majina mimi naitwa Hassan Mheshimiwa Hassan Ali ama ukipenda dwale mimi ni nawakilisha minority ama ama the, the, the people wale watu wachache katika hii kaunti ya Nakuru. E, ya kwanza kabisa mimi nataka kushukuru gavana wa Nakuru kwa sababu hata kama hii maneno yote amekuwa nayo bado wako na ile stamina ya kuongoza hii ni Nakuru yetu na ndio maana alichaguliwa na kura mingi sana. Ya pili Governor kwa kulingana na sisi viongozi hapa county assembly governor alifanya kitu ambayo hata wewe mwenyewe ungekalishwa pale wa ungefanya ile kitu amefanya so what she did we only have 10 positions in this uh, in the, the county government according to the county government act but yeye alionelea ni vizuri at least kila sub county ikuwe represented katika hiyo 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 cabinet yake na i think kulingana na mimi Hakuna njia mzuri zaidi ya kuonesha ya kwamba kutakuwa na representation kwa hiyo cabinet kama kugawa hii nafasi katika kila cabinet. Na zaidi ya hiyo nakuru za Cosmopolitan County. Amejaribu kabisa kuweka kila kabila katika hiyo cabinet yake. Na ya pili na ya tatu ni kwamba tuko na nafasi ya county ya chief officers. Ukijaribu kuangalia hiyo nafasi ya chief officers, amepatia kila kabila ambayo iko nakuru county. Nafasi at least kama ni Muislamu sisi Waislamu tumepata na tunamshukuru kama ni hao watu ambao wanajita minority wamepata wa kisi wa kambo wa, watu wote wamepata so according to her she did the right thing so i don't see why she's being crucified but sisi tunaomba ya kwamba wale watu ambao wanajaribu kuzuia governor kufanya kazi wampatie nafasi kwa sababu alichaguliwa na kura mingi zaidi hapa hii county yetu ya nakuru ya mwisho kabisa ni ya kwamba we all want nakuru county to move for, to move on So mimi pia ningependa tu kutimiza watu wa Nakuru wa muombe gavana wetu wa muombe Mungu kwa sababu wako katika ako katika nafasi ngumu ya kuongoza hii county. Na, 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 na kwa nia yake mzuri tunajua kwamba atatuongoza vizuri na kwa hii miaka tano watu wa Nakuru ile ma, 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 ile development yote wanataka watapata mabarabara, maji, kila kitu watapata. Akisaidiwa na rais wetu ambaye pia wote wanatoka katika chama ya UDA. Hao wote watatuongoza wata, wata, vizuri na tuwapatie nafasi mzuri ili waweze kutuongoza. Governor ametuhakishia kwamba lazima basari watu wapatiwe. Watoto wanarudi shule January so watoto watapata basari kila mtu ata, kila nakuru we have to move forward. We are right behind our governor. We support we support her decision because what she did was based on what we have in Nakuru. Nakuru is a cosmopolitan region that means what she did is region, region, regional balance and i think she did the best that she could and we are all behind her as the county assembly yeah service delivery has been delayed of course but we are trying our best to fill in the gaps 
as whatever is happening with the court is happening. Nakuru ni city. Kisumu pia ni city. Mombasa pia ni city. Na ukienda pale katika ile hali ya kutegua governor wa area hizo alipokuwa akitegua uh, viongozi wake ama wale ambao alitaka kufanya kazi pamoja nao. Je, unataka kusema kwamba hizo city zingine haina makabila mengine? So kuna kitu ambayo inaitwa regional balance na ningependa sana tuweze kuelewa hapo. Eh, hii kabila kama unaona unasema kabila moja ilipata nafasi saba, nyingine ikapata tatu. Hii ni kwa sababu ya kitu ambayo tunaita regional balances. Nieleze sasa kama Nakuru tuko na MPs kama kumi na moja. Ukienda sehemu zote napata kwa hiyo uchaguzi ambaye raia wenyewe wanjiko waliamua. Waliamua kwamba walikuwa na opportunity ya kuchagua makabila zingine si ilali kwamba kukua na makabila mengine. Lakini walipoenda kuchagua katika uchaguzi waliweza kuchagua MPs kama wa saba kutoka kabila moja na watatu kutoka kabila ile nyingine. Alafu na mmoja kutoka kabila nyingine moja. Hiyo ni kabila kama tatu ambao walikuwa wameteuliwa. Na wanjiko alikuwa na nafasi ya kuchagua hizo kabila zingine zote ambaye saa hizi tunajidai kwamba tunawapigania. Bwana hawa kwa nafasi ya kuchagua wale wengine. So hii sio mambo ya kujulumu makabila mengine. Hii ni kitu ambayo inaitwa regional balance kulingana na sauti ya wanjiko pale ground. Kama ukienda eh, constituency for example kama Rongai. Rongai walipoenda huko na iko na makabila zote pia za Kenya. Wakachagua Mkalenjin pale. Na si si pia ambao alipeanwa pale ni kulingana na Mkalenjin. Sasa hatuwezi tukalaumu how wells tunaweza balance hizi makabila zingine aje. Kabila ni 43, nafasi ni 11. Na positions ni 11. Tungebalance na muna gani hata kama ni wewe.